me know if you want more yapping or if you don't. Let, just, just let me know. Now, inside my last video, I talked about the update and we talked about beacons and stuff. If you want to go over beacons and stuff, check out my last video. Essentially, here's what they look like. Red is for enemy, like an enemy in paintball or any quest. Blue is just for marking where you are going. Yellow is for showing where you are. And the hand is for grabbable thing. We'd also got a new weekly rotation this actual week, but no weekly shop. I talked about the new Destiny 2 sets in my last video, and they're inside that actual Destiny 2 collab room, but the only difference is that they just glow. There's also a new sign update, yeah. And this is our rec center shop. Nothing new, and nothing new for Requiem Plus either. Dude. It is so empty in here. We also received a new featured creator called Z Nation. Inside your watch store, you'll notice that we have the Destiny 2 items here. You can also find new UGC because it is Friday and every Friday, Requiem releases new UGC. We have this cool little starry blazer, this dude TV had corrupted, a bunch of new like pets and stuff. More clothes, motorcycle helmets, some new sushis, different cats, this possum backpack, we have some dork spectacles, more jeans. Leather bracelets, fanny packs, but we have new UGC now. And of course, people aren't too keen on it becoming more expensive. What are your guys' thoughts, and if you could recommend anything to the creators of UGC, what would you recommend? We also have some new discounted offers as well, as you guys can see, and that's pretty much this entire weekly rotation. But before we continue, I got a sponsor. Yes, that's right. For today's video. That is right. This video is sponsored by Kiwi Design. Now, Kiwi Design sent me their V4 ventilation facial interface for Quest 3S. It's also equipped with a patented vent mechanism that basically ensures airflow to get rid of heat buildup inside your headset where your eyes are. It also does that while blocking out light. Its design also targets light leakage, meaning that you can become more immersed in game and you can see less distractions in real life. It also reduces the pressure that is applied to your face when wearing your VR headset during long periods of time. It's also equipped with like a little nose light blocker too as well. Now I was lucky enough to get sponsored and get sent this product to review and stuff and I've had it for a while now. From the time that I've had it, I think it's super, super comfortable. Honestly, you can tell that this is high quality material. Now, I had gotten the ventilation facial interface with its little face pad, and I had gotten a spare face pad as well. Two face pads. Are you kidding me? All I had to do was snap this thing into my actual Quest 3S, and it it just it just worked. And just for that little cherry on top, it's also easy to clean as well because it's just a Velcro mechanism to take the face pads off the actual facial interface. So if you're in the market for a more comfortable VR experience for your Quest 3S, then you should check out Kiwi Design's V4 ventilation facial interface. You can use code SKL at checkout to get 5% off, and I would greatly appreciate it if you do so. If 5% off is not good enough for you, well, then they're also going to have a Black Friday sale November 23rd. In case you guys are interested in this year's Winter Wonderland, there is a reminder to submit your Winter Wonderland applications. Those who have been in Research Lab for 18 months and have completed at least 18 surveys since joining will now receive two Purple Survey Bubblies. We know that we've only ever given you one opportunity to earn the Purple Survey Bubbly, so we hope that earning a couple more might inspire you to crack one open and share it with some friends. Those who have been in Research Lab for two years and completed at least 24 surveys since joining will receive our exclusive White Survey Bubbly. This is our rarest survey bubbly yet. It's only been released to a small handful of players ever before and we're excited to share it with our most dedicated research lab members. They also updated the image for the rewards instead of research lab. They now added two survey purple bubblies and the survey white bubbly. We also wanted to let you know we've heard your feedback on being interested in other brand new types of rewards. We're hard at work bringing those ideas to life and promise we'll share some updates as soon as we have them. Until then, we hope you enjoy these new rewards and look forward to your continued participation in research lab. You want to get on my good side? Join my channel memberships. And of course, they basically just give me money every single month and I give them perks every single month, like being shouted out in videos and sneak peeks to videos. Do it for as low as $5, and of course we got Daytrix, Not the Pup, Garlic Bread, Hydro, The Dragon Boy, It's Freddy RR, KobeFan76, Gasly, Nolan, we have Raphael, Netflix69, Chase, Curb, Cloud, and lastly, Box David. We also have Default as well, but he couldn't be added to the images in time, so uh, join the family or I'll find you. Now would you believe me if I said that there was a beta Requiem original? Inside this room that's actually officially made by Coach, you guys can see that this room is new. If you're wondering what the About Me says, it says looking for people to play with, visit the Rec Center patio to find people to party and play with. So this is quite literally just the outside of the Rec Center. There's nothing new or, or too notable to be on. Uh, uh, let's go through it. Icebreakers, radio, basketball, frisbee, dummy, buckets, and two 
paint. Wait, no, those are those are confetti guns. You have an activity group finder, and you can find new friends who are looking to do the same thing as you. It adds an activity name tag. This can be quest, hangout, PvP, game, creation, or you can remove them. If you open up quest, it'll basically take you to quests like Rec Room Original, not community made. If you go to PvP, it'll take you to Rec Room PvPs. If you go to games, it'll take you to Rec Room Originals. Create only gives you just this little message on your screen telling you to go to your create tab on your watch. And hangout will take you to hangout Rec Room Originals like Rec Center, Park and Lounge. This is also a thing. So, and you can kind of tell some work was done inside of Rec Room Studio just by the paths. This is not normal Rec Center outside terrain. In case you happen to be wondering what happens if you go to the other side of the Rec Center, I already tried and there's like a wall blocking me. So, that. Now we just got some news that dropped today. You can check out Reckham's new clonable spinoff game, Bonkey's Inferno. Are you ready for some hammer swinging chaos? Their new clonable Make It to Midnight spinoff, Bonkey's Inferno, is here. You can earn points by knocking out opponents into lava with Bonkey's hammer and by collecting pickup items. The player with the most points at the end of the round wins. There's more information about it, obviously. There's always more information about this. They go on to say we launched Evergrown PvP a few weeks ago and we're now thrilled to introduce another new game, Bonkey's Inferno. In this Make It to Midnight spinoff, you get the most points you can and send your opponents flying in fast-paced melee combat using the one and only Bonky's Hammer. Here are the rules. You have to knock out opponents using Bonky's Hammer to hit other players. You can send them into the lava or through the laser fence to score big points. You can collect pickups, which are just scattered around the map and are special pickups that give you extra points, and you can grab as many as you can to boost your score. The player with the higher score at the end of the round takes the crown, and it's all about strategy, timing, and a bit of chaos. There's some exciting new features that they added, and these include Bonky's Hammer animations, every swing of Bonky's hammer is visually stunning with glowing effects and smooth animations, making every hit feel powerful and satisfying. There's a dynamic damage system. The more damage you take, the more vulnerable you become. This means each hit sends you flying farther, adding a strategic layer to the battles. Their smart round system keeps the game flowing smoothly by managing round times, player spawns, and score tracking. And in their HUD, you can stay informed with their easy-to-read in-game display that shows your score, the time, and collectible feedback so you always know where you stand. Feel free to check out Bonky's Inferno. I will be streaming it after I upload this video and stuff like that, so stay tuned if you're one of the early people that watch my videos and stuff. It's an interesting concept, I will give it that, but that big bonky is disturbing. Now I only have a little bit of developer talk for today's video. Max Powers had said that he just confirmed that the hat adjustment bug is still in the latest update. This is pretty frustrating for him as much as it is for all of you. He's going to see why this keeps happening when it's all fixed in all of their test builds. He later confirmed. He later says, oh man, uh, so I'm still spinning from the crazy ship complexity. I had thought that we had brought the hat adjustment fix into the latest update, but it turns out that it wasn't patchable from the major version that got delayed because Nintendo being Nintendo. So we're going to do a little investigation to see if we can get this fix into a patch that isn't so tied to the Nintendo delay. And yeah, that's pretty much it. This is our entire news video. If you guys want to, feel free to like, subscribe, do all that crazy stuff. I even have a code in game. It's SK0L, just my name. And just to add a little bit of yap to the end of the video, to be honest, I've been so busy. But I had also gotten a lot of free time recently as well. So, you know, I've kind of just been taking that up and using that for YouTube. Playing a lot of web fishing too. So, uh, that's fun. If you want more Rec Room news, there's more videos on that side of the screen if you really want to. And subscribe.